2018 Mercedes-Benz Class SUV Review. The Good Points of Mercedes-Benz Class SUV. Go anywhere off-road ability. Good to operate a vehicle on road too. Indestructible quality. Generous equipment spec. The bad points of Mercedes-Benz Class SUV. Very expensive. Only 585 horsepower AMG for the present time. Profligate running costs. A little ostentatious. The Mercedes-Benz class could be the toughest, muddiest Merc you can get today. It's an effective 4x4 on the old school, as capable dirt as anything from Land Rover or Jeep. Even so the new model launching in summer 2018 adds a welcome a higher level polish so it will be more viable to be a daily driver on road to buy, Mercedes-Benz class car is available. Don't mistake this to get a lifestyle crossover. The latest Mercedes class, sometimes often known as the Gwagon, is surely an altogether much more serious off-roader and has some proper mud scrambling hardware to start. The trio of Goniware differential locks for better traction, lower range transfer gearbox for scaling one-to-one -one mountains and separate, ladder frame chassis a tougher foundation for off-roading are typically indications this really is no mere posing machine. Sadly, Everything that technical complication includes it's an incredibly expensive car. The G63 AMG driven here would be the only model offered at launch from the UK and expenses an eye-watering £143,000. The UK distributor is considering adding the cheaper G500 non-AMG model later on, along with a less profligate diesel class is confirmed for UK sale in summer 2019. Until then, you'll need deep pockets to perform a class. No wonder it's seen as alternative purchase into a supercar inside a rich person's dream garage, in the event you're looking at one, System Bentley's Bentga, Porsche Cullen or Range Rover for outright performance in Polish, as well as a Toyota Land Cruiser for proper off-road creds. Mercedes-Benz Class, The Hard Choice you just need to look at the perpendicular styling to understand the G does things slightly differently. That bluff, upright styling makes this 4x4 stand out on the crowd and as well contributes to a really roomy cabin. Where the last generation class was surprisingly cramped, the newest one is bigger in all of the key dimensions, rendering it roomy enough for just two full-sized adults in a choice of row of seats. With no third row seating available, this car is often a five seater. The boot is usually a decent size, but simply remember there's a side hinged tailgate that is very heavy because of the full sized spare wheel bolted on the door. Thankfully, the modern Gwagon carries a clever strut system which now sports this tailgate open, in order to open it rather than worry perhaps it will slam shut on you inside a gust of wind. Just one engine, the G63 AMG. Buyers considering a class have an exceptionally simple grocery list, there exists only one engine readily available for Brits, the very best dog G63 AMG model. That means a 4.0 liter biturbo V8 sending a dizzying 585 horsepower and 850 newton meters of pulling ability to all four wheels. It is not time-consuming car. Performance should be felt to become believed, hardly any 4x4s can scurry from 062 miles per hour in only 4.5 seconds, it's as quick as numerous Porsches, and there's a superbly rich, baritone V8 soundtrack to accompany the warp speed acceleration. The penalty is poor economy. Mercedes-Benz quotes just shy of 22 miles per gallon about the combined fuel efficiency cycle, but a much more realistic figure may well plummet low to the teens. Visits for the forecourt will probably be frequent and expensive.
low down on what the class drives. We detail the right and handling, as well as extraordinary off-road ability, inside our detailed analysis lower down these pages. The Verdict The Mercedes-Benz class is among a kind, popular, halo 4x4 that sits imperiously towards the top of the firm's off-roading family tree. Few cars at any price can match its mud-plugging abilities, though the latest model has become a decent drive on road too. Pity it costs a lot of money. Mercedes-Benz Class SUV Review AMG G63 is incredibly powerful. 062 miles per hour in only 4.5 seconds. One from the quickest SUVs for sale. The Mercedes-Benz Class performance is extraordinary for just a car made to scale 45 degree inclines. Because only the AMG version has imported for the UK, scintillating acceleration is guaranteed. The G63 AMG musters an extraordinary 585 horsepower and 850 newton meters looking at the twin turbo V8. Combined with excellent traction from your standard four wheel drive, it's enough to offer 062 miles per hour in a mere 4.5 seconds and top speed is pegged at 137 miles per hour if you're feeling brave and live near a German autobahn. You'll be able to specify the optional AMG driver's package to boost the top speed to 149 miles per hour. All classes are automatic, without the need of manual transmission option. The 9-tronic auto box has 9 ratios and changes gear seamlessly, most cogswaps slur away without anyone's knowledge and you are rarely aware on the process of shifting ratios. The Mercedes class is unusual in having a lower range transfer box, only offered at low speeds, it's just like a super low gear calibrated for off-road use, and is particularly great for extreme engine braking when descending a slope or extra grunt when climbing up steep hills. We'll discuss more off-road ability inside the handling section below. Built to scale mountains. Exceptional off-road. But now good on road too. Old Guajans were a mess dynamically, they may have been ASAT off-roading and street-side posing, however they were not enjoyable cars to operate a vehicle. In fact, occasionally they were downright terrifying. Mercedes class, on road handling. The a different one changes everything that. At last. The Mercedes-Benz class feels at home in all of the typical circumstances. It will not wander all around the lanes using a motorway, the steering is accurate and you'll be able to place it precisely over a country lane, along with the ride is well judged, softening out of the road scars and acne conventional British roads. We can't recall a greater quantum leap from what went before. With the last car. You had been forever making excuses and reminded of the car's military origins. With the brand new class, that is no more necessary. It rides, handles and steers a lot like any other modern Mercedes SUV, therefore we say that like a compliment. The upright shape causes it to become very very easy to place about the road. One with the best features about the G will be the pair of indicator repeaters that rise out in the bonnet-like bubble wrap, clearly defining the outer edges from the set square design. A parking camera and sensors are standard, making slotting right into a space a cinch. Mercedes Class, Off-Road Performance Of course, anyone considering a class is likely being attracted by its off-roading ability. Here, it scores extremely highly. It is unique in having three locking differentials along with a low range transfer case. The former are helpful to prevent wheels spinning when on low grip surfaces or dangling from the air, in the event you're properly off rod and tiptoeing over boulders as you move the ladder keeps you going regardless of whether you're scaling single colon 1, or 45 degree, incline. Let's get technical briefly. 
Mercedes quotes 241 mm of ground clearance for driving over rocky terrain, you may wade through 700 mm of water, along with the G has impressive angles of ramp break over 26 dig, approach 31 dig, departure 30 dig and side tilt 35 dig. Those figures is going to be largely meaningless to several watchers, however, if you do venture off-road whatsoever they will concur that the class is well equipped after you veer off tarmac. Tested it on the tough mountainside course and located a mine bendingly capable. You can toggle the differential locks donned off while you're driving at speeds as much as 30 miles per hour therefore we'd recommend getting instruction should you really fancy making the most from the Merck's Goni wearability. We found the vehicle's talents outshone our very own. Happily, all of that traction and grunt signifies that the Mercedes class has impressive towing limits, a trailer, caravan or boat up to 3.5 tons is usually towed in complete safety if your trailer is braked, or 750 kilograms on a much more typical, unbraked trailer. All Zizan's tires are standard fit. A fixed tow bar is standard on every UK registered model, along with the ESP stability system even carries a program made to stop trailers from snaking, which is often a welcome comfort blanket to individuals likely to carry heavy loads regularly. Mercedes Dynamic Select Dynamic Select is really a drive mode selector, allowing you to pick between comfort, sport, eco and individual. Flicking from the modes means you be able to set up the vehicle's throttle, engine, transmission and suspension settings to supply a sportier drive or relax everything to some more laid-back gait. It works well and changes the character on the car noticeably. It is possible to also set your own personal preferences inside individual toggle, which is really a neat touch. A slick, modern interior. Much more space now. Digital dials, connectivity. Climb up in the glass interior it really can be a climb for most of us and you're greeted by the cabin it feels a lot more in sync with modern Mercedes-Benz cars. In fact, you'd be forgiven for thinking they'd taken in a class cockpit and dumped it straight in. This is really a major departure with the Gwagon. Earlier iterations which have always a rather archaic, backward vibe inside. No more. Most noticeable include the twin 12.3 inches digital screens that dominate the dashboard, replacing the original instruments and running the digital heart from the infotainment system. It signifies that many in the features we've become utilized to on bigger Mercedes-Benz cars are available around the G. So should you delve into enough sub-menus, you may play together with the presentation of screens and flick between classic, sporty or progressive digital dials, and there's a heap more personalization available. Thumb pads around the steering wheel let drivers search menus around the move, it takes somewhat getting used to, but it's only one way of operating the command system, you'll be able to also rely within the rotary controller within the central armrest. Use voice control or physical hard buttons where available. It won't get you long to know your way around, though it can sometimes be somewhat fiddly. Each manufacturer's infotainment system works slightly differently so we reckon that the Mercedes-Benz command setup is logical and straightforward to navigate on your path around. The physical attributes in the class cabin impress, too. This is really a well-made interior along with the choice of materials and build quality on the whole feel worthy from the lofty prices charged. The G63's cabin is swathed in quality leather and now we love the mechanical rifle bolt latching sound once you thunk the doors shut. You feel like you are ensconced inside Bank of England vaults once the door closes. The elevated driving position is great, too. We found all the different seat and tire adjustment fine to adapt to some range of body sizes. The chances are that you'll be capable of jetting comfortable easily and, as we've noted elsewhere, 
there is definitely an excellent view out. You really do use a lofty vantage point, looking over other traffic. Classy ambience throughout. Pick small wheels for maxi comfort. Seats are really pampering. In line with all the huge strides made from the rest from the class package, refinement and comfort are noticeably improved on the modern model launching in 2018. Where the last wagon would bounce and pogo down a road, the revolutionary one flows with much greater poise. This is mainly down to your mechanical improvements. The revolutionary suspension is additional bias towards on-road comfort compared to the off-road setup of earlier models. Bumps and lumps inside tarmac are smothered with the chassis and surely each .6-ton curb weight must help here and the body movements are very controlled. The seats fitted for the class are impressively comfortable and hold you set up during high-speed driving or off-roading. The stubby grab handle sprouting in the dashboard in front on the passenger seat is really a nice touch and genuinely useful when climbing in. Both rows are heated and buyers wanting the supreme in seating comfort can design the optional massaging active multi contour seat for a lot of serious spinal pampering. Mercedes Class Drive Modes Newly fitted up double glazing has dramatically boosted refinement plus the engine noise from that vocal V8 is well incorporated into typical day-to-day -day driving. Only if the car was in sports mode does the exhaust spark up a soundtrack akin to your rumble you typically hear with an American drag race strip. Inevitably there may be some wind rustle to be a result with the brick-like aerodynamics. This is undoubtedly an extraordinarily upright car as well as the drag coefficient of 0.54 makes this one of many least slippery shapes for cleaving the oxygen, to your detriment of wind noise and efficiency. At motorway speeds, you really have to lift your voice slightly to counter wind noise. A well-equipped, luxurious car. Only one spec easily obtainable in UK. Top Dog G63 AMG comes loaded. The class standard spec is generous, because you should expect of the car costing well into six figures. Standard Mercedes-Benz class equipment. The following features are typical standard fit. Heated electric front seats. Three's own climate control twin 12.3 inch digital screens choice of 64 colors for ambient lighting Burmester multi-channel surround sound system stereo 20 inch alloy wheels Parktronic 360 degree parking camera LED headlamps with auto dip electric sunroof Smartphone integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Adaptive cruise control. Tow bar. That lot comes bundled from the regular G63 AMG trim. Mercedes Benz class, optional extras. If that lavish equipment level isn't sufficient to meet your needs, you may also spec some options packs. AMG Night Package To personalize your G63 further, Mercedes-Benz will sell you the AMG Night Package, which swells the alloy wheel size to 21 inches in diameter you may even trade as much as 22 inches rims when you really wish to strut your stuff, take note that smaller rims will likely be better in the event you prioritize ride comfort or need to head motocross. This styling pack also smokes the outdoors chrome detailing in obsidian black, for just a more menacing stance. Winter Package If you live within the countryside and require a rapid frost option, the Mercedes Class Winter Package sounds just like a smart buy. This carries a heated windscreen with an auxiliary heater, which may be programmed remotely to limber up the cabin before seat off. Both useful features to avoid wasting frosty fingers and bums with the cold winter's morning. 
Class aspects first rate. One from the safest 4x4s for sale. Not yet Euro and cap tested. The Mercedes Benz class is really a strong, robust car, and while it has yet to become independently tested by Euro and cap, this can be one from the sturdiest cars to have an accident. There's an abundance of equipment aimed towards making sure this brief doesn't happen within the first place. Much on the electronic architecture you'll find while on an A-class or S-class continues to be transferred over towards the wagon, so you will find watchful digital eyes monitoring traffic flow near you and this car will intervene when it senses a direct effect is likely. Electronic stability control is sophisticated enough to regulate skids and slides, while radar and cameras help you stay driving as part of your lane. Remind you of speed limits ahead and spot pedestrians or animals ahead, warning if they're on the verge of step into your journey, and also braking automatically when you fail to react soon enough. The Mercedes-Benz class aspects boosted from the UK by standard fitment on the driving assistance package a choice in mainland Europe. It bundles in radar-controlled cruise control, which keeps the automobile a set distance from your vehicle in front in order to drive in convoy without having to master the pedals. This system now works in stop-start traffic, using the sting beyond jams and roadworks. How many ice-fix child car seats can I fit in a very Mercedes-Benz class 4x4? A set of two ice-fix attachments around the two outer rear seats means you are able to easily attach a few child seats from the back of the class. Big wide opening doors along with the car's unusual height be sure that fitting them isn't very difficult it's quite liberating devoid of to bend to sort every one of the rigmarole of strapping your children into their child car seats class cabin more spacious plenty of space for anyone boot reasonable although not huge the new mercedes class is longer wider and taller than its predecessor liberating more space for passengers. This is great news, as being the outgoing G was embarrassingly cramped for a real large car. Extra elbow room is specially noticeable as well as the front seat backs are actually sculpted for making extra space for rear passengers. You can comfortably sit for full-sized adults within a class and because of an unusually low transmission tunnel another benefit in the ladder frame chassis, it is possible to realistically accommodate a fifth passenger inside rear middle seat. A wide array of storage cubbies, cup holders and compartments manages the ephemera of contemporary life, for example keys, phones and wallets. A ski hatch allows you to carry long items from the car without recourse to your roof rack along with a net inside boot holds bits and bobs. There's a large benefit towards the perpendicular, set square styling here, the Mercedes class is surprisingly simple to place around the road and park, as visibility is great. Parking assist is standard about this off-roader helping maneuvering with a variety of ultrasonic sensors to produce sonar-like beeping while a 360-degree, panoramic reversing camera assists when creeping backwards. The new steering setup around the Gwagan means it will likewise steer into a space automatically your command, the wheel spinning eerily relating to the fingers. These tools reduce the worry factor when parking what remains an enormous, unwieldy SUV. The Gwagan's tailgate is definitely side-hinged, like around the Toyota Land Cruiser or Land Rover Defender. This can make opening the boot slightly tricky, and also the door is quite heavy. Blame the standard fit, full-sized spare wheel bolted on. Thankfully, the gas strut is currently intelligent enough to lock the tailgate in position no matter how open up it is to help you open it without worrying that it'll blow right into a parked car, or trap your fingers. Once open, the boot size itself looks slightly disappointing when you're getting started. What resemble wide wheel arches pinch the load bay noticeably on each side, leaving a narrow boot space to your bags or dog. 
In fact, the subwoofer for your stereo is responsible with the intrusion for the left hand side, as you move the right hand lump gobbling your luggage space is fact the fuel tank. What remains is often a squarish 454 liters, little better than you'd get in the family hatchback that figure swells to 667 liters in case you packed your roof line, or 1941 together with the seats folded. The rear seats do split in a very 60 hours 40 minutes pattern, permitting you to carry longer loads. Just be warned how the class's heavy-duty off-roader construction shows that the rear seats don't fold entirely flat.